Hi, my name is Professor Angela Horn. I'm a professor of art at Armstrong, and we're in the Fine Arts Lab uh, on campus. Today is the first of several short tutorials I'll be giving about Photoshop, so let's begin. For this tutorial, I'm going to uh, go over how you may actually add information or data to your file so that you can give the appearance of a digital frame or a mat to a finished image. So I'm starting here with a finished image. And the first thing that I want to do is duplicate the background layer. Um, and of course, you can use a menu uh, from the layer panel, duplicate layer. And then I'm going to use the crop tool. Um, and this is interesting. Use the crop tool to add information or data to your file rather than take away. So with the crop tool selected, I'm going to check my settings at the top, click clear so that it's not using any particular proportion. I'm going to select the entire document and then holding down the option key on the keyboard, I'm going to actually extend the crop area beyond my image. And because I want to wait this mat, I'm going to shift it down just a little bit, hit return on the keyboard to apply the transformation, and what it has done is added information to my document. Because I already had my foreground and background color set to default, it's using the background color of white to add information, which is perfect um, in this situation. Now, to add a little more detail or a, a, a small bit of detail, some people may like to have a black line um, that's inside of the mat area. So what we'll do now is add a new blank layer to the document. With the rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to pull out a rectangle around my image. And then using the edit menu, I'm going to edit stroke. I'll add a stroke of about five pixels in the color of black and I'm going to use it center around my uh, marquee. And here we can see I've created a black rule line around the image. I'm now going to deselect my selection so that you know, I can edit my document freely. So here we have something that has given a nice appearance to uh, what looks like a digital mat uh, to my image. Now a nice finishing, finishing touch to this may be a digital signature. So if you're interested in adding a signature uh, to your imagery, you could again add a new blank layer. And I have here um, a Wacom tablet. Um, so if you have a tablet, you can use that to sign freely. Um, or if you have your sign signature that you've scanned in, you can then add it at this point. But I'm going to sign using just the simple uh, paintbrush tool and the Wacom tablet um, in Photoshop. So I'm going to come with my paintbrush tool, and now I'm going to sign. I think that brush is a little too large. So I'm going to get a five pixel brush. I'm going to come and sign the corner of my document here. And since I did that on a separate blank layer in my document, I have a lot of freedom here. So I can use my move tool, and I can you know change the location of the signature. I can also bring it into the image and do something special like, for example, um, invert the signature so that it's now white instead of black as though I've signed directly on the image file itself. And this is, uh, again, a short tutorial on adding a digital mat and or a signature to a finished piece of artwork in Photoshop.